we have Braden with us, aka uh, Captain Cool. <laughs> Captain Cool, there you go. When you look like a tool by default, then. <laughs> well, that's because I'm Captain Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Disclosure: Now that we're recording again, I'm not trying to be a tool. I am a tool, but not because of sunglasses. I just can't see, and these are my prescription. <laughs> all right, <laughs> excuse <here we> go. <clears throat> Okay, grass mm-hmm. tangent, and that's also uh, introduced. Introduced, right? And then there was the uh, the native ones that would have been blue bunch wheatgrass, because we've got right. a, we've got blue bunch out here, right? Um, and we've got a bunch of that. I don't know if it's the thick spike or the western wheatgrass. We've got oh, a bunch of know. that too. We got a lot of that actually. Were we, but that's super super stemmy too. Well, well, and were we talking about orchard grass? I think we were. As another as another uh uh bunch grass. Yeah, I don't I don't I really don't remember. I know that we had when I mean we had it split up because of the different things. Right. Like just like what I was talking with the uh alfalfa, you don't want a whole field of especially rhizomatic because it's all pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Um and because if one of them has, if something happens to one of them, it just kind of spreads right, throughout right. your whole system. And then pretty soon everything's dead. Yeah. As opposed to, yeah, if that happened, but you got a mix of other four other grasses and one of them's a bunch or two of them are bunch grass and the other one's a rhizomatic. Maybe there's an issue with the rhizomes and then it kills out all your rhizomatic species, right. but you still got grass so left grass, over because right. you got the bunch grass. And then you solve that by planting in there later again or figure <clears> out what's going on. Yeah. Or try to reseed or whatever, yeah. whatever but, um, no, it's good to have a, a range that way uh, with, like, the root systems. Um, it's good to have – I'm sorry, am I wasting time? No, nope. no, you're fine. Keep going. It's also good to have, like uh, – this is also controversial. I like the idea of the introduced and the the, the native. Um, obviously, yes, I want to keep everything native. That would be preferred, but honestly well, – a good example of that is crested wheat, isn't it? Because crested wheat crested, is invasive. That's an introduced – Crested wheat's introduced. I think it came from Siberia. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Ago. Yeah. Yep. yep. <clears throat> but it's so hardy because it yeah. was from Siberia. Um, yeah. That it survives winters well. It is a great. It's very palate, super palatable, and it's got very good um, protein. Protein, yeah. and um, it's very. It doesn't. What's get, the word I'm looking? It's yeah, not it's, very stemmy for its size either. It's no, almost, it's, it's a hard. It's a solid stem type of grass. It's got great forage production. Yeah. So, I mean, why wouldn't we utilize something like that? Mm-hmm. You know, um, I don't, yeah, I don't know. So I, I would like some introduced. And we talked about the smooth brome. I think that might've been one of them. It was. It is a little bit more stemmy, but I mean, you get a lot of leaf material. It grows quickly. It is very palatable as well. Um, you can, you can increase your pounds per acre. Um, it's just... So, I mean, we talked about annual, some, or not annual, god dang it, sorry. Um, we've talked about some introduced and then some native. Um, and then I think, I think, if I remember right, we didn't want to mix cool and warm season. Because what happens is eventually one overtakes the other. And usually that it's the sense. cool season overtaking the warm season. Sure. Because those cool season grasses have that time period right now, they start growing and then they'll have, so like it kind of goes up and then there's a lull during the winter or the summertime when it's a warm season. And then during uh, the fall, there's another growing season for those cool grasses. So they got two times a year that they're growing spring and fall. And then between that, when they're not growing, all the warm season grasses are starting to grow. So they only got the one season of growth. And if it's too hot in the summer and there's not enough moisture, then the warm season grasses really don't even get a chance yes. to, to get going. Mm. And then you want to talk about out competing again in the fall when those perennials, because you're going to get moisture, right? Mm. You're not, not going to get moisture. Those those uh, cool season grasses are going to start thriving again because they're going to have their second growing season. And then they're going to take over the area that those warm season grasses would have, but they never got the chance to do it. Mm. So eventually your cool season, I think, if I'm remembering this right, I think I had read into it and looked it up. Um, eventually, if you have a mixed stand of cool and warm season grasses, eventually those cool season grasses can out uh, compete them. Out compete. I mean, that makes sense. But I don't know how that would be affected under um, irrigation. irrigation. Still, well, how warm is your how warm is your mm. 
your uh, ambient temps. Do we have a cool season or a cool year that's mm -hmm. extended, or is it get yeah, hot early? Yeah, I don't know. So I mean, that's going to vary from year to year. But your your um rain or your moisture is going to be consistent, right? Right. Because it's usually a mixture of the the mo the lack of moisture and then the extra heat added stress for your warm season yeah. to thrive and your cool seasons to be kind of stunted. Yeah. 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 I don't know how that would be affected under irrigation, but I think that's, that's why we went away from having a mix of cool and warm. So <laughs> that's what I remember from that conversation. I don't, is that... I think that's right. I think we kind of decided that it would be <laughs> probably better to have more cool, cool type um, plants mm -hmm. than it was the warm but rhizominous and uh, bunch grasses in your cool species. Yeah. We thought would probably be the best. Well, diversity always beats all. Yeah. You want to talk ecology, diversity is what you want. Right. It's almost like <clears throat> it's a theme of life. Well, it is. You it start is. specializing on one thing, then you're doomed to be dependent on that. Well, I mean, it's the same thing with finances, available. all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Skills, finances. Yeah, whatever. Just ask yeah. Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon, right? Sure. Who made it and who didn't because they didn't specialize. <laughs>